For practice problem 4-4, we have a beam with a pinned support at point A and a roller support at point B. There are three forces applied to the beam, as shown. Our job is to find the forces that are holding up the beam at point A and point B. Let's begin. So here's my beam, and there's a support at point B and a pin at point A. So if I draw a free body diagram of this beam, I have an unknown force at point A, I'll call that AY. I have an unknown force at B. I also have an unknown force AX because there's a pin, so there's always two forces. I have a six kip force there, a seven kip force here, and out at the end I have an eight kip force. Okay, this is a simple case of applying the fundamental equations of statics. So first of all, the sum of the forces in the horizontal direction equals zero, and that equals, whoops, AX. There is only one force in the horizontal direction, and since there are no other applied forces, AX has to be zero. Okay, I will now do this. I will sum moments about point A. So, if I look at the problem statement, that's two feet. This is four feet between those two forces, five feet between those two forces, and three feet between those two forces. So let's just begin from left to right. If I take the forces about point A, AX, and AY go directly through point A, so their moment arms are zero. These two forces do not contribute to the moment. Next, I'll look at the six kip force. It's two feet to the immediate right of point A. So its moment arm is two, and its force is six. I'll just leave off the kips for now. If I look at the 7 kip force, it is 2 plus 4, that's 6 feet away from the left side of the beam, and its force is 7. Distance times force. These two are both clockwise. The next force that I don't know 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 5 is 11 feet times B. And that moment goes counterclockwise. Hold this down, push in the direction of B. Yes, I am moving counterclockwise. And finally, 8 plus 6 is 14 feet away. times 8 kips. Okay, I could write kips everywhere, but B will now be in kips. So, if I sum up all these moments, 2 times 6 is 12, 6 times 7, 42, 11 B minus plus, plus 14 times 8 is 112, those all add up to zero. I have one unknown, which is the force at B. So in this case, I add everything up. I will take the 11B, move it on the other side of the equal sign, and I will get 12 plus 42 plus 112 
divided by 11 equals b. I jumped a couple steps there, but I immediately can see that b is 15.091. Kips. Now, at this point, I could easily go A plus B, AY plus B, have to equal 6 plus 7 plus 8, and I know B. So I could easily solve for A, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take the moments about point B just to show that it can be done. Okay, again, the line of force from AX, even though it's zero, goes right through B. So it does not contribute to the moment. AY, on the other hand, is perpendicular to the line of force. So it does contribute to the, to the moment. Five plus four plus two is 11. That's the moment arm and AY is the force. I don't know what that is yet, and it is going clockwise. Next, I have the 6 kip, that's 9 away, and it's going that way, counterclockwise. Notice the rotation counterclockwise. 7 is the same. 5 is the moment arm. Also going counterclockwise. B, of course, is the point of the moment, so the force at B has a moment arm of 0. It does not cause any rotation. And then I've got a 3 foot moment arm times 8 kips, and it's causing rotation this way. That means it's positive, the same as the 11y. Okay. Those all equal 0. So 11ay minus 54 minus 35 plus 24 equals 0. Or ay equals Move the negative 54 over, change its sign. Move the negative 35 over, change its sign. Move the positive 24 over, change its sign. Divide everything by 11, and I will get 5.91 kips. Now, as a check, Everything going down has to equal everything going up. So the two things going up are 15.09 plus 5.91, and they have to equal 6 plus 7 plus 8. Okay. If I add these two, they add up to 21 kips. If I add 6 and 7 and 8, they add up to 21 kips. Therefore, this is force B, this is force A. Final answer.